Hey guys, Hi. hello. Welcome to day four, uh, like three and a half of working on Darlip. Um, so today we are doing the paint job. Hopefully, um, our, our man Daryl at uh, API finishes. I believe I'll tag his business below, but um, he is gonna be helping us out. So I thought I'd do a quick walk around before he gets here and show you guys what we got so far. So right now we're just wiping down some spots. We're gonna hit it with a sander in a couple of spots just to get it really clean. As you can see, she's all taped off. Everything that we don't want paint on. We are gonna put some black plastic over the cab since that is gonna be maroon. But just going around here, everything's taped off that we don't want the white paint on. When we went to the paint shop, the gentleman said that we should get a tack cloth, which is like a beeswax coated cloth, to rub on the surfaces to get all of the dust and debris off before we start painting. He provided us with some measuring cups, which were very useful in measuring out the additives, uh, which I'll show you in a later video. But so these are the measuring cups that we did get. Um, he just gave it to us. They're called high tech. This is the activator that was given to us. First you add the activator and then you add the reducer when you're mixing the paint. So what we have here for products is uh, the North Star brand. Uh, we do also have a respirator for the person that is going to be painting. Basically what you're going to be doing is mixing a 3 to 1 to 1 ratio, which this cup is awesome for measuring. So you go from paint to the reducer and then to the activator, or the other way around, the activator and reducer. So when Daryl gets here, we'll do a short little video on how to put everything together. Um, he has been a huge help, so really nice to have him. If you have a local paint guy, definitely go and talk to him. The other thing that we had to do is we are painting it outside and we are painting it by the house because it's the best spot for it. So we taped off some of the house and the fence for overspray. Make sure you do this, very important. The other thing that we're gonna do is spray the ground so that any dust or bugs or anything like that stay on the ground um, because it is a little bit windier today, not too bad though. So definitely spray the ground. All right, we Yay! are all done. <laughs> yes. yeah. We have so much paint in our hair. So much paint. Your own personal hair teaser. Yes, make sure you wear a hat or something on your head and just everywhere. Anything, like, like the watch or anything that you care about because it will get everywhere. Don't even take your phone out actually because it <laughs> yes. will get on it. But I'll show you the progress Yay. that we have. <laughs> so this is the back. As you can see, we painted the bumper white. Again, it's all fresh so clean everything is covered it looks so good we are going to paint the cab maroon so we had to completely cover the cab uh, and then we have this for safety wise and i don't see any overspray on here i will show you the mailbox that did get a little speckled but as you can see the window is looking so much better up there there was a boat that was right there but that did not get any overspray on it and here is this side. So just make sure that you have everything taped off. Like I said, I'll show you the mailbox. It does have like a little bit on it, but not too bad that you can take off with paint thinner. So this is the final product. As you can see, we did take off the um, stickers, but you can still kind of see them. We're gonna go over it with a dark maroon. So hopefully that kind of conceals it. 